Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha! Today I have a special unboxing video for you. So I'm sitting here editing on my new 16 inch MacBook Pro, which I did an unboxing of, so you can go check that out. Um, and just powering through the backlog of videos that I have. And then here comes a brand new package. So of course I have to stop what I'm doing and open up this bad boy right here. This is the Mario Kart uh, Deluxe Racing Wheel for the Nintendo Switch. This is, this is super exciting. So um, it just arrived. I imported it from Japan. This is uh, uh, straight from Play Asia. And this actually, I believe, uh, so there's two different versions. There's this deluxe one, and then there's a cheaper, smaller one called the Mini Racing Wheel. And I know that the Mini one uh, was announced for the US, uh, but not the deluxe one initially. However, I think I just saw a Game Explain video where they unboxed both of them, and I'm pretty sure they had a, a box that was like English uh, for the deluxe one. So the deluxe one may actually be getting a US release as well. Um, but I imported it because I couldn't wait and at the time they hadn't announced it and I wanted the deluxe one because the thing is Mario Kart is one of my top favorite franchises ever. It's one of the few video games that I'm actually good at because most video games I'm not good at. I just have fun playing them, but this one I love a lot. Granted, I don't play with motion controls usually, um, but I thought, you know what, this would be a fun new experience. So here's the box. I want to kind of quickly show it and then we're going to do an unboxing. Um, but this is the deluxe racing wheel. So this is the Japanese packaging. I don't know if they release in the US, it might be a little different, but um, here it is right here. And uh, on the side of the box, it has a couple features that it highlights, which we'll talk about. Um, but I just wanted to sort of uh, show you this and then the back of the box as well, showing you all the contents that are included. So you will connect this um, to your switch dock via USB and uh, it comes with some pedals and stuff too, which is, which is really, really cool. So let me move my MacBook out of the way and we're gonna open this bad boy up and uh, see all the stuff that's inside. And then I'll show you some gameplay of me actually using it out and seeing how it is in action. And I think we might get a little crazy and we might try this out in some other games like Super Smash Brothers and just see what happens. Can you play with it or not? I don't know. I guess we're gonna, we're gonna find out. But uh, for now, let's see what's included. So we have some instructions in Japanese. Um, let's see. Let me get this piece out. Oh, we got the pedals right here. Okay. Side. So here are the racing pedals. Um, if I didn't, I, I can't remember if I mentioned or not, these are from Hori as well. So Hori is a very, very well known um, uh, accessory maker. And so they make some, some top notch quality stuff. This is actually pretty solid. Like they have a good amount of resistance. You, it's not like a light, like I'm just like tapping it. It's not doing anything. You kind of have to like push down. So this, this feels pretty, pretty solid. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, then in here we have some stuff, uh, which, all right. Now I'm a little worried because I thought I brought my unboxing knife, but I can't find the knife anywhere, which is not a good thing to say that you've lost the knife because that's never a, uh, <laughs> a good situation, is it? Uh, so I will have to find that knife. I'm just hoping I'm not like sitting on it. Granted, it is collapsed. So it's not like it's gonna stab me somewhere, but uh, let's hope this, this unboxing doesn't take a uh, dark turn. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna have to try and rip this thing open since it might be in the other room, to be honest. Um, oh, it looks like these are like suction cups, I think. Yeah, okay. So we have some, some suction cups right here, which I guess might attach to the bottom of it or something. There's five of them included. Uh, so either there's some extras or maybe all five are used, I don't know. Um, there's another little piece here, which I assume connects some stuff together. So we have some assembly uh, that will take place. Um, are these more pieces that connect? I think so. Yeah, there's like some kind of a screwing thing happening here. So uh, we'll take a look at that. Um, but now of course, for the, the main events, this thing is actually pretty big. Uh, I gotta find space for this now, of course. 
you don't think of these things when you buy it. It's just like, ooh, Mario Kart, racing wheel, that's fun. And then you get it, you're like, oh, great. And where is this all going to go? <laughs> Look at that. Like, that's a pretty decent size. So this is like the big base unit that will sit down. Of course, you got the plugs. And this is the actual wheel right here. Like, check this out. So this is actually super, super cool. Uh, it looks great. It definitely looks um, super awesome. Uh, it also, so if I kind of sit it down, good amount of turn that happens there. Um, plenty of buttons on the front, which feel okay. They all, there's not, they're, they're all kind of like got that sort of mushy button feel to it. Uh, the middle piece doesn't feel like a button, but you have ZLZR there. You got some clicking that's happening. Um, and then a couple other, you know, things to go through. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put all this together and then I'll show you the details up close and then we'll try out some gameplay. So uh, let's jump to that. All right, so I have the wheel assembled and essentially there wasn't really much assembly per se, but this is the wheel as is. And the way that it's gonna work is there's a giant, pretty decently sized USB cable that will then plug into the dock. Uh, the pedals, plug in with uh, what looks to be like a little phone jack, basically. Um, and then the very back of the steering wheel here has a, a little connector that you will then plug it into. And now the pedal is connected to the wheel. So very easy to do. So you can then separate it out to store separately or however you need to do it. That Now there was that other little attachment. And so right now you'll see there's another piece at the bottom. And so what this is for, I believe, the only thing I can figure out from the fact that I don't understand Japanese, is I think this is so that if you want to display it, but not have the suction cups, uh, like, you know, be on, like stuck to whatever you're, like if you're storing it on a shelf and getting those things dirty, I think this is just kind of like a little protector for that. So you don't have to take the suction cups on and off. So essentially there's this little piece here that's like a little, uh, uh, almost like a little screwdriver thing. And so um, you're gonna sort of spin it and once I, you know, I did it a decent bit, so I just have to undo this whole thing here. So when you actually want to use it, you want to take this off. And so this, spin it a little bit more. Yada, yada, yada. It comes out, so this is the tool, basically. Uh, and it goes right in, this little plastic piece just kind of sits there. It doesn't really click in it, but it, it, it just sort of sits on top. And so you'll see, again, it's sort of there to protect like the suction cups. It at least covers, you know, two of them with these little things and then the middle piece is covered by the base. There's only two exposed on the sides, but again, if you have this whole piece there, nothing's gonna be touching the ground. So I guess that's what it's for, to protect those. So I didn't even think that that was a thing, but I guess it is a thing. The suction cups, uh, you install them, you push it on, and then you kind of put a little bit of force to turn them and lock them into place. Um, but otherwise they're there. So I guess to prevent the constant locking, unlocking, if you want to protect the integrity of the suction cups, then I guess you have that. Uh, but otherwise that's that. So, uh, let me show you up close a little bit of the detail and what's included on here. And then we'll actually try it in some gameplay. I'm going to try and mess around with the assign function. I'm trying to read Japanese, which I don't understand. So there's a way to assign some of these buttons to certain things. And I have to sort of try and figure out how that works. Uh, but in the meantime, let's show an up close look at the wheel itself. So um, again, you have the wheel there. This doesn't feel like a button, but there's a home button, capture button. You got your, your plus and minus there. Um, you do have an item button and then it says LSB and assign an RSB. So I'm wondering if these are things that you um, can assign or like, I don't know what LSB and RSB specifically are, but then you have your D-pad, your A, B, X, Y buttons. On the wheel itself, you have a ZL and ZR button right there. Um, and so again, you have that. But then you also have these little um, clicky pedals in the back. So uh, again, I wonder you know, if you can assign those or what those may be for specifically. Um, but that's otherwise, you know, that's pretty much it. This is Mario Kart on it. Again, there's the connector for the pedal uh, on the side there. Uh, the only other thing is right at the top of the steering wheel there, it's a little bit hard to see, but there's there's this right here, right? And so it's DP, LS, and RS. So what this means, from, from my understanding, DP means D-pad, LS means left stick, RS means right stick. So I believe what this means is if I pick DP and I turn the wheel, it's gonna be moving like D-pad left and right. 
If I do LS, it's gonna be like left stick, left and right, and RS, right stick, uh, left and right. So you can pick which input on like a switch controller you're doing with the left, with the, the turning wheel motion. I believe that's what it is. We'll test it out to confirm. Um, but uh, if so, I mean, that's that's really interesting, you know, how they how they did all that. So let me get this thing hooked up and uh, let's, let's try this thing out. All right, so I have the wheel uh, set up right here. And so I was doing some testing basically. And um, the way that this is gonna work, and I'll, you'll see it up close, is the, the wheel does move things uh, left and right. So if I, I'm gonna go out of the, you're not gonna see this right now, oops. Uh, but I'm, in the, I'm on the switch menu. And when I do this, I'm going to the right. When I'm doing this, I'm going to the left. So it, it does work. Now, if I change the, the setting in the middle to LS for left stick, same thing, okay? When I go to RS for right stick, uh, same thing, because I believe all the sticks work the same way, but we're gonna test that out in some other games uh, later. Now, all the buttons basically do exactly as identified. The LSB and RSB, which we were wondering what those two are, that is if you push in the left stick and push in the right stick. So I think it means left stick button and right stick button. So for any games that require you to click in the sticks, you, you can just push those buttons. So basically, oh, and also the little pedals, are L and R, I forgot about L and R. So you have ZL and ZR on the steering wheel, but L and R are right here in the pedals. Um, everything else on the wheel, so basically all the buttons on a controller are assigned on the wheel, but if you wanna change things, you can. So the item button is already assigned as ZL. So when I go into like the switch menu where you can test the inputs and I press item, it says ZL. But you can actually change that. What if you don't want the item button to say that you want it to be something else? I believe you can reassign any of these buttons. I'm not gonna get around, I'm not gonna mess with it too much because I think it, it probably is okay already, for Mario Kart at least. But if you wanna get into it, I think you can really customize this. But let me just show you real quick how you do that. So right now, um, in fact, you won't be able to see this, but I'm gonna go to the switch screen just so I can confirm as I'm following along. So I'm going to the, the settings, uh, controllers and sensors, and then I'm going down to test input devices, test controller buttons. That way, whatever I click on, it tells me on there. Okay, so here's, here's what happened. So after I messed around with it a little bit and assigning buttons, this LED turned green. Um, but basically, what's gonna happen is there's a sign right here. So let's say I wanna change the item button to be, I don't know, like down on the D-pad instead of ZL. So right now when I press item, it says ZL on the switch screen. So if I wanna change it, I hold down the assign button until the LED starts flashing. Then I pick item because that's the button I wanna reassign. So now it's flashing faster. Now I can press like down on the D-pad or whatever I wanna reassign it to. So now down on the D-pad still works, but if I press item, it still says EL, which is not right. Uh, I did this before and it worked, so let me try this again. So assign, press item, and now down on the D-pad. Okay, now, yeah, now when I press item, I think you have to do it quick. So now when I press item, it's pressing down on the D-pad, basically. So that's how to reassign it. So let me do it again, let me assign it back. So I'm gonna hold down assign, press item, and then press ZL so that I fix it. And so now when I press item, it's doing ZL. Yep, exactly. So very easy to reassign. Uh, you can kind of like follow the LED and do that. The one other thing that I just want to point out real quick, um, is the pedal. Uh, when I hold down the right one, it presses A. When I, when I do the, the left one, it's B. So it's already set basically with all the presets that you would need for Mario Kart. So technically it looks like you might be able to use this for other games if you really wanna get crazy with it and you can reassign buttons appropriately. So it's actually kinda interesting if you wanna be one of those crazy people that uses a steering wheel for like Smash Brothers or something. We'll test it out and see how it goes. But out of the box, this thing is ready to go for Mario Kart. So I am ready to jump in. I have this thing set up on a table. Unfortunately, that has like a tablecloth. So it is sliding around a little bit, the steering wheel. But I'm gonna try and see if I can put something underneath it because the suction cups don't seem to work well on like tablecloth. Um, but I might put like some other, I don't know, something below it, like cardboard, something if I have it. I'll see. Uh, but I have the, the pedal right here. And I'm gonna point the camera at the TV now so that you can actually see. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna set up my phone. So I'm gonna have dual cameras going so that way you can see both views and see what's going on. So let's do that. All right, so I have it recording and basically what I just wanted to show real quick uh, that I forgot to show as well 
So the actual um, pedals here have this fold out piece. So this thing was kind of sliding around. So I looked at the bottom, this piece actually folds out and you can basically rest your feet on top of it uh, and, and kind of push the pedals, which makes it easy. I'm actually gonna hold the steering wheel close to me. Um, I think I'm gonna try that out and see and uh, see how that feels like sort of like this position. Hopefully you're able to actually see this. I tried to set up my phone. I don't know how well it worked or not, but we're gonna, we're gonna test this out and see. So I'm in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So I'm just gonna jump into a game here. And uh, let's see, I guess I should try a steering wing and selecting characters this way. So let's, uh, let's jump in. This is my, my go-to right here. We're gonna go straight to 150. Um, let's try out some basic, uh, basic Mario Kart Stadium here and just see how this feels. Um, all right. Very curious to see if this is worth it or not. All right, here it is. And... Steering feels pretty responsive. Oh, a little tricky. Got to get used to how much I have to steer here. All right. Ooh. Okay, hold on. It feels like I'm turning, but it's not moving as much as I want it to. Like I turn a lot and it's, it's moving a little bit. So I feel like I need to adjust some sort of sensitivity here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this for a second and I'm gonna switch this to LS for left stick instead of D-pad. And now let's see if that makes a, makes a difference or not. Uh, okay. Ooh, you really do have to turn a lot. All right, so I'm using the pedals as my L and R right now. I just feel like I'm overcompensating. You know, like I wish, let's see. It's a little too much. Okay, the, the other problem too is it's not secure right now. And so I don't have a good way of doing that. So let me see if I can truly set it on the table. And I know it's it's kind of sliding around a little bit because the, the suction cups are not working on the tablecloth. But I'm going to try this here and see how well this this works instead. All right, let's see. So let me push the item button. Yep, so that worked. Or I feel like the pedals seem to be more natural. Or I guess I also do have, and there I go, I fell off. I have my ZL and ZR buttons on the steering wheel itself. So I might actually just use that. That actually seems to be the most natural because the buttons are right there where my thumbs are. All right, this is better. This is better having it on the table. I feel like I have better control. I think it just needs to be in a nice solid place. I think I need a good desk or something that um, I don't have like a tablecloth basically in the way where it's kind of sliding around. Uh, otherwise, I think it's it's okay. So let's use my mushroom. Let's see if I can catch up now. Boom, all right, all right, there we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted, come on. Okay. Take that red shell and... All right, getting close to the finish line. Yeah, so I don't know whether the left stick or D-pad setting works better, to be honest. Um, they both kind of felt similar to me. Uh, I have it on left stick right now, and I think that's definitely a lot better. I, uh, full disclosure, I haven't really used many uh, racing wheels much in the past. Um, so I, I don't have a good, I need a better, like, secure setup for it. But initially, if I can get this thing to be nice and solid here, I can definitely see how this could be kind of fun to use. Um, that's the only tricky thing. Uh, in fact, you know, can I do this? I don't want to mess up the, uh, do I take the risk? 
No. I'll, okay, I'll, I'll pass for now. I think I just want to, um, I don't, I don't want to mess up the, the table. Uh, but that felt pretty, pretty decent. Um, so let me jump out of here, actually. And we are going to go into a different game. We are going to pull up some Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Um, I have a good feel now for how this thing works with Mario Kart. Uh, and I think if this were connected to the table properly, if I had a proper setup, it would work pretty great. Uh, but now I want to try this thing out with uh, some Super Smash Brothers just to see, like, is it theoretically, like, how usable or not is it? I mean, it's not meant for it, obviously. Um, and actually, uh, it shows up as just a USB controller in the Switch settings. Um, but let's see how crazy we can get with this thing. All right, I'm jumping into Smash. Let's just do a setting, a battle right here. Okay, so, um, so this is moving the left stick. I guess I can just use the D-pad, which might be easier to be honest right now. So I'm gonna pick, let's just do a basic one right now with uh, good old Mario. And uh, let's try this out. So the D-pad right now is letting me move up and down. So basically I can play with my D-pad. Um, R is grabbing. If I want to shield, I can, I can do that as well. Okay. So basically with the D-pad as is, I can play. Now, if I use my, my, my actual, uh, oh. okay. Oh, I was actually able to recover again with the D-pad. If I try and steer, all right, I can kind of steer a little bit with this. It's not the greatest. And again, you have to turn a lot to be able to, uh, to do anything decent. I probably should have turned on the computer level while I was testing this out. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> Okay, let's shield with ZL, ZR. <sighs> all right, all right. Let's switch this to um, to RS for right stick. And let's test this out. Is this actually gonna do my, my right stick moves? No, it still moves left and right. So I don't know what the RS and LS setting is because it seems to, it's still moving me left and right either way. So that is very interesting. I'm not quite sure. Even when I do DP now for D-pad, same thing. So I think I, I think it means something else actually. And I'm about to die. Yeah, it, it's 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 tricky. Um, but it not it's not. Oh, I know what it is. So DP makes the actual D-pad function as a D-pad. LS makes it function as a left stick, and RS as a right stick. Oh, so turning the steering wheel always does left and right. But if I pick DP, you'll see that when I'm actually pressing the D-pad, it's doing taunts. When I pick LS, I can now move with the D-pad. When I pick RS, I'm now doing the, the C-stick attacks. And Meta Knight just killed himself. Um, so I can kind of move with the steering wheel very slowly, so not very usable and use my C-stick attacks. I can switch to LS, and now I can move with the D-pad. Okay, so that makes sense, that makes sense. Now I sort of understand what's going on there. So actually, that didn't change the steering in Mario Kart, which is why I was feeling like it felt the same when I did that. It just changed the setting for the D-pad itself. So anyways, that's, uh, that's that. All right, so overall impressions are, this thing is pretty interesting. I think uh, you have to make sure that the, the desk or the table that you're gonna be using the wheel on uh, is gonna allow for suction cups to work. So it's gotta be a nice flat surface, no cloth or anything on it, uh, because if this thing moves around, it becomes tricky and then it's just not as fun and it doesn't work as properly. But if you can get it on a nice clean surface, get it to stick and be nice and solid, you can have a lot of fun with this thing. Um, the pedals, you know, work just fine. Uh, everything else seems to work just fine. I know you can like customize different things. 
It's a little bit more advanced than what I really need. To be honest, it seemed like playing Mario Kart, just pressing the ZL, ZR buttons on the steering wheel themselves are the easiest option, and you just go from there. Um, all the other face buttons, I mean, you have them there, but um, I don't know if it's necessarily, you know, needed for something like Mario Kart. Um, but it definitely has a nice, you know, uh, premium feel to it. It looks cool, looks great. Again, I think this is a, a solid option if you are really into Mario Kart and you want a, a different experience, an actual more immersive experience playing the game. Is it going to make you better at the game? Uh, probably not. In fact, it might be a little bit more difficult, but is it going to be fun? Sure, you know, and that's what it's all about, right? So uh, definitely worth looking into at least to see if uh, it's something that you would uh, would want to use. Um, but otherwise, um, that's pretty much it for this uh, this wheel. So I did actually look at Game Explained's video. So their box art was like white background and everything was all in English. Uh, it was called like the Pro Deluxe Wheel or something like that. And so basically, it looks like this should be getting an English release at some point. Um, so if you are interested, keep an eye out. Uh, you don't have to import it like I did. Uh, so definitely check that out if you would like. Let me know in the comment section below as well what your thoughts are uh, and if I can answer any questions. This is just my initial impressions, just kind of figuring things out and seeing what it's all about. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful to some extent. Um, but otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I will see you later.